gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this out amicably. I'm sure we can sort this out amicably. Look at it this way. Look at it this way. If you could do what I could do, then you would do it too. But you can't. But you can't. I can, and I have, and I'll do it again. So you should be happy for me just a little tiny bit, don't you think? And you, sir, <sighs> just consider, you love your wife. I love your wife. Aren't we both on the same side? If you think about it, I'm... I'm, um... What was it? I'm hungry. said to Cardinal Aquaviva, how can the church maintain its authority when the language itself is beyond reason? For example, in the Latin, can anyone explain to me why the word for vagina is masculine and the word for penis feminine? He had no answer. Well, I suppose you could say it's because the slave always takes his name from the master. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And besides, I said, Cardinal, how can you extol the virtues of language when you've banned the poet Ariosto from the English? I mean, what sort oh, of... Oh, well, no. Actually, they haven't. I think you'll find they have. Well, I think you'll find they haven't. Honestly, sorry. Um, the Pope has expressly said that's not the case. I really don't think so. How can the Pope accept a poem which denies the final resurrection? Yes, yeah, except it doesn't, if you actually read it. Um, it only says perhaps, which in context is just a rhetorical ornament and therefore invalid. Who the hell are you? It's very good to meet a man of learning, Giacomo. And you, more than anyone, will appreciate the delicacy of the precise Latin, manus the hand, pugnus the fist, and percutio, to punch. Set me down, boys, set me down. Come here, then, you great big bauble. Come to mother. Lovely. Have you uh, met my nephews? It's a different nephew every week. Mm. I found Carlos working on a barrow. What do you think of that arse? That is a very good arse. Mm. Oh, here he comes, Bellino. He's a castrato from Bologna and gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous! Excuse me, that's a girl. Don't you wish? That's a girl. If I know anything, I know girls, and that's a girl. You're on the turn. There's hope for you yet. Pretty practice. How do I know I can trust you for a wage? What sort of gentleman are you? And what sort of gentleman's gentleman are you? You can cast out on my residence, but not my honour. How dare you? Then there was Christina. She used to sleep naked with her uncle, a priest. Well, I mean, I had to put a stop to that, didn't I? Said, you can share my bed. What did she look like? The raven black hair, long white neck, tiny waist, magnificent chest. Oh, yes. I said, let's both lie here naked. Let's see if we can both lie here and not move in the dark. Oh, yes. I looked at her, reached out towards her, and not with my hand. Oh, my God. Touched her, pressed up against her. Faster, faster. To be continued. Look, everybody, it's Casanova. And little Casanova. <laughs> oh. He's the very model of me. Every home should have one. Better hurry up, I gowled away my teeth. Your teeth? Oh, nice teeth. So go on. Try your tricks. 
and you will fail. I'll see to that. You're just dying to kiss me. I've become famous simply for being outrageous. And you can make a living out of that. Rule Britannia. Stop it! Oh, 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 oh. oh you cheeky man! Oh, oh, oh. That's not bad.